Hello everyone. So we got some unfortunate news uh, regarding Rivian and highlights the difficulty of ramping up in the electric vehicle space. I got an article from Drive Tesla Canada for us to check out. So let's dive into it. So the article headline here, Rivian may be removed from NASDAQ 100 index following stock sell off. Rivian is facing the possibility of being removed from the NASDAQ 100 index this month as its shares have plummeted over 90% from their record high. Rivian first went public in November 2021, with its share prices reaching a record high above 170 shortly thereafter. Since then, however, the automaker has worked through a difficult production ramp in the midst of a global pandemic and supply chain disruptions, causing the stock to lose over 90% of its value. It is this steep drop-off in share price that could see Rivian lose its spot on the NASDAQ 100 index, according to JP Morgan securities analyst Min Moon. According to Moon, this could happen because of the company's diminished weighting in the index, which has fallen below 0.1% for two consecutive months. If this trend continues, Rivian may face exclusion from the index. Owen Semiconductor is considered the top candidate to take Rivian's spot, Moon says. While it hasn't happened yet, being removed from the NASDAQ 100 index would be another blow to Rivian's already struggling stock. The index exclusion would diminish the company's visibility and potentially reduce its attractiveness to institutional investors who track the index. Consequently, Rivian may experience additional downward pressure on its stock price, as it could lose the institutional support and face challenges in raising capital. Despite losing over 90% of its share price, Rivian appears to have the best shot of making it compared to some of the other EV automakers that have launched in the last few years. As of the most recent update from Rivian, they are still on track to, to produce 50,000 vehicles this year, double what it produced in 2022, and have nearly 12 billion in cash or cash equivalents at the end of Q1 2023 to keep them going. This compares to the likes of Lucid, which has already lowered its 2023 production guidance to just 10,000 vehicles, and who this week announced a new funding round to raise $3 billion, most of which will come from its largest shareholder, the Saudi Public Investment Fund. Rivian is currently trading at around fourteen eighty per share. So if we have a look at Rivian stock, currently trading at fourteen forty eight, doing okay over the past month, up almost twelve percent. But if we look at the six month, it's down fifty one percent in the past six months. Over the past year, same thing, down fifty percent. If we look at when it was first listed. That's when the stock was the highest, around 130 US dollars, and just been a downward slide ever since. So I think just this just highlights, you know, the difficulty of starting an automotive business and struggles all around from different startups. However, I would say that these startups, like Rivian, is a startup that is strictly focused on electric vehicles, same as uh, Lucid. I think they have a better chance of becoming successful in the electric vehicle space than traditional automotive companies who have to do this balancing act of uh, cutting down their internal combustion engine vehicle business and ramping up their electric vehicle business and timing that perfectly and spending money appropriately while still having a focus on each side of the fence. I, I just think it's going to be really tough for traditional automotive manufacturers and and still going to be tough for pure electric vehicle startup companies like Rivian. And as we see here with this article, they're having quite a rough time. I'm sure some of them will make it, but I think we're going to see a lot of uh, bankruptcies and mergers in the coming year or two in the electric vehicle space. So that's it for this one. My name is Evan Bertrand. This is the Evergreen Channel. Give the video a like if you liked it. Subscribe by clicking on the wheel in the bottom right, and thanks for watching.